Hey, Axe Effectsers. Dojo here, going to talk about some toe matching. Toe matching feature, killer on the Axe Effects 2. You can toe match your amps. You can toe match audio files. As you saw uh, earlier this month, Adam Cook took some uh, samples off YouTube doing some Van Halen. It's, that was killer. But you want some higher uh, resolution files like AUG or MOG files, WAVE. You, know, you can use MP3. It'll get you there. But in this video, I'm going to show you three types of files that I've used to do the tone matching. So I'm going to start with the uh, Metallica Master of Puppets. These AUG or MOG files are found off the internet. Uh, downloaded them from somewhere. I have a link somewhere. The AUG files are cool because it, the tracks are already separated. So I'm going to just drag and drop guitar AUG from Master of Puppets onto my Audacity. Note, in Audacity, Edit, Preferences, that's where you go. You need to set your playback and recording devices to the Axe FX2. Plug your headphones into the Axe FX2 and uh, tone match away. So I've got the tone matching block set up, ready to reference this track. <coughs> And it's important when you reference back with your guitar that you try to play the same thing. And be careful when banging your head. Make sure you look around and see uh, if anybody's watching or if there's any objects in the way. I'm going to show another um, MOG file, the Police Synchronicity 2 file that I used to do mine. I'm going to drop this on Audacity. In this mod file, you're going to see all the tracks pop up in here. So usually the first part is when they're thin like that, that's the drums. And down here should be it's the two guitar tracks. So I'm going to solo these out, listen to them real quick. And listen to Andy as he picks up that guitar. <laughs> first time I did this I just deleted all the tracks but these two then I uh, exported this track as a as a wave file uh, but the quick and easy right now is just doing it like this I, I can I'm ready to capture my axe effects and I can just play that but I, I listened to this entire track and I wanted to find really <laughs> really like the tone that I found right there so when I play that back I got a better match using the chords in, in that part of the song when I was done I just came back here and I deleted the guitar tracks oh no yes I did I deleted them then I exported this the rest of the song as a wave file and imported it into Reaper Started up a guitar track um, through the Axe Effects, and my tone matching was done. Just played along. Fun stuff. And don't save because you'll ruin your original MOG file. Uh, I'm going to use an MP3. I'm drop an MP3 in Audacity. Oh, so, there we go. Just looking for that uh, lame codec. So I want to, I got the whole song here, but there's only one part that I need, and it's the very, very beginning. So what I can do is either capture this part and then just play it back and forth and, and go from there. All right, I hope this helps uh, anybody needing to you know, use the tone matching feature using uh, audio off the internet, um, MP3 files, MOG files, WAV files. Um, there's ways to do it off of YouTube. 
if uh, I think this is a keep vid dot com if you find a master track that you like off YouTube stick it in here um, let's find one real quick okay so I found the Eddie Van Halen Panama isolated guitar track <laughs> Copied the URL, went to keep vid, pasted it there. I want to download the MP3. It takes you to snip MP3. Downloading it to the desktop. Here we are. Here's that, here's that track. Running it through Audacity again. Uh, quality of the MP3 download, I mean it's 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 terrible, but it I mean it can work. Um, best thing to do is just to find those, uh, you know, wave, mog, og, master tracks. And that's all I got for you right now, man. Stay tuned for more.